video here now is on SAC 1212 power supply and once again this one suffers from the bad electrolytic capacitor problem these two here in these power supplies if you own an SAC 1212 I highly suggest you replace two of these I've seen these pop many 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 times as you can see they bulge up and they start spitting out their, little, their, their electrolyte and uh, when you turn the power supply on with these the sure sign of these failing is the is this noise So if you hear that, <laughs> it's either too late or you just cut the power supply <clears throat> in time to replace them. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm removing the circuit board and I'm removing two of these capacitors and replacing them. The power supply still puts out 13.8 volts, it still works. It's just eventually these two are going to short out and they're going to pop the current amplifiers and the fuses and everything else in this thing. It's just going to blow it up basically what's going to happen if it's not fixed. So <clears throat> that's what this video is about. We're going to replace those two bad boys down there. Let's see if we can't get uh, a few more kilometers out of this thing. A few more miles out of this power supply. So, we're removing the negative, we're removing the positive wires over here, removing neutral wire, line wire, and now we're going to remove the wires from the power switch. Um, you may not have to do this, chances are you won't, but um, if you're curious as to what are three wires, there's a neon bulb in here. And if you ever disconnect this and you're not 100% sure how to rewire this switch, well, basically, you got the white wire that connects to the top terminal. You've got the black wire, which is position C, goes to the middle connection. And then you've got the bottom connection, which is this wire here. And he connects down into B. So. Just so you know, just for reference, if nothing else, where these three wires connect from the board to that switch. And now you know. Anyways, let's uh, let's get the ground wire off and remove four screws and these two and see where okay. we Okay, so we've got the, the main board. Uh, we've got two electrolytic capacitors are located here and here these two spots here on the board so I'm going to remove both of these and uh, see if I've uh, got a couple of replacements to put back here and see if we can't fix this power supply well, <clears throat> well I was waiting for a side iron to warm up I was trying to break the glue on the side and just working it back and forth the capacitor literally popped off the board literally wasn't much solder holding that thing in there and as you can see cold solder joints if there ever was one and this one was about to do the same thing so yeah interesting don't you think anyways that's a uh, Hmm. Is that why they glued these down? Because their soldering technique sucks? Or that they couldn't solder under these leads properly? Or the solder using on the board? Or what? But uh, I'm pretty sure parts shouldn't just pop off the board like that. <laughs> okay, there's me two replaced ones. They're not new, but they're what I had. 
And uh, these are the two that I replaced. As you can see the scorch marks on the uh, sticker. Yeah. And these are Gemicon Electrolytics 2200 UF 25 volts. Both of these are the same. So I'm going to replace with the same value 2200 at 25 volts. It probably wouldn't hurt to, uh, if you were to change these, to bump them up to 35 volts. Give them a little bit more breathing room on the voltage. But, uh, yeah. She's 13.5 volts. Yep. And they have a working power supply. Anyways. Like I said, if you've got the SCC-1212, I highly suggest you replace these electrolytic capacitors sooner than later. <laughs>